Nowadays, it's kind of weird to think of pigs and cows and goats running up this steep, narrow hill. But they had to in order to get up and over this unusual little plateau called Troy Hill. That small bridge carries Lowry Street over Rialto. Right here. Mary Wollaber is the neighborhood historian up here. A lot of times, I just come here and stand. Do you know this is one of the steepest hills in Pittsburgh? And it's a hill that's had more than one name. Ravine Street is it, though. But now they call it Rialdo Street, and then they called it something else in between. But anybody that knows anything just says Ravine Street. <laughs> well, Ravine or Rialto, it's still a popular challenge for walkers and joggers. Try it sometime. Do come up and down here once. You'll find out how good your wind is. Mary said she'd give us a tour of her hilltop. We're very narrow. We're only about 600 yards wide, and we're a little bit more than a mile long. Troy Hill is an old German neighborhood with a remarkably stable population. Almost all these people along here are old Troy Hillers. This house is for sale here. I was very surprised to see that. This young person has just moved in here, and she's so pleased to be living on Troy Hill in this tiny little house all by herself. And she thinks she's just moved to heaven. Maybe she has. There's that sense of being up above the world here. And Mary might even convince you there's something celestial rather than infernal about the old firehouse. This has been here since the 1880s. And this is not the original building. A new facade was put on here in a new building in 1901, as you see. The men congregate here. And if you want to know anything, you go to the firehouse. And I think that most, uh, most towns have lost that in the city firehouses, too. This still has the aura of community and neighborliness when all the firemen that were here were people that lived around here. Well, Mary's lived her whole life up here, born and raised on Troy Hill. She remembers when people spoke German up here, and she's happy to point out lots of local landmarks. My mother got the franchise for this gas station. Mary said we had to see the view, but we told her we were running short on time, so she started running. This is the Deutscher Unterstützenbund. The Deutscher Unterstützenbund was a kind of German fraternal organization that ran a bar inside and held picnics out back, as well as provided social services to the community as needed. Ah. There were other clubs around here too, like the Turnverein, that offered a place for exercise. These Troy Hill Germans have a long history of keeping fit. There you are. Was I right? That is Isn't that beautiful? Ah. Oh. Now do you know why I want to live here? beautiful. Now that's a view you're not going to get anywhere else. God, I love it.